This is your model rocket, and in this video, I will show you the build process, tools to use, and where and how to fly. Starting off, we are going to assemble the fins. I have a screw lock motor mount. If you have a motor mount, I will show you how to install that later. So now that we have the fins assembled, we are ready to attach them to the body tube. Use super glue to attach them to the body. If you don't have super glue, hot glue works great too. If you don't have the 2-in-1 motor and fins, you will need to use a finner liner, like this one. When you do that, your rocket should look a little something like this, or this. Onto the nose cone. If you have one with two separate parts, glue them together. And if you have an eye bolt like this, screw it in. We want to then attach the shot cord and the parachute to the nose cone. Feed your shock cord through the ring and tie it tight. Now depending on your rocket, you will have to glue it or it will be pre-attached. Now that we have the rocket built, wait two hours and then we can prep it for flight. If you read the instructions of your rocket, depending on the size, you will add recovery wadding. For my rocket, it says three to four sheets, so I will do four adding safety. Now take the smallest recommended engine for your rocket and put it in your rocket. Now, to the launch site. Okay, so when you have found a safe open area to launch, you can now put the igniter in the engine. Turn your rocket upside down and drop the igniter in. When it touches the bottom, push the plug all the way in. Okay, so hook up the clips to the igniter and back to the controller. Back at the pad, we are ready to launch. Give everyone a countdown and launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch commit. Okay, so the rocket has touched down and that was a successful flight. Congratulations!